Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the Bow and Spear build. This is one of the most common builds in New World right now in 3v3 PvP Arena, and it's because of how strong it really is. I want to talk about what abilities you can take, as there's many different options available to you. And you can also see the amount of raw damage and honing that you get with the spear, as well as the bow doing just insane amount of damage, uh, you know, far away or mid-range targets. I think even short range, it's good now at this point where you can actually use the explosive arrow plus the evade shot to really get away from anybody sneaking up on you. You can see here how we actually use this to our advantage. So here he comes through. I use the penetrating shot right away, get some extra damage down. I do, I think, miss my evade shot, but there is a lot of damage coming out from all of us on our team because we're able to just stay away and kind of play that defensive style PvP arena. Here you're going to be able to see we're just going to be able to trap him up. Uh, we're also going to be able to put a lot of damage down on the bow, or with the bow, sorry, from far distances away. We're going to get an explosive arrow doing a lot of damage, and then we're going to be able to finish this guy off with the spear. And this spear gives you a lot of mobility. You wouldn't really kind of suspect this because most people, if they're looking for mobility, they're going to go rapier. Not the case when it comes to spear. Also, I love the uh, different abilities with the mobility. You're going to get CC with the spear, which is definitely very beneficial for a team that, you know, sometimes takes heals. So now that we're on the PTR, I want to talk a little bit about this build and the build that you guys should be running if you are looking to run the spear and bow build. First off, we're going to go light build. This is going to give us that dodge quick roll. Dodge stamina cost going to be 50, but the base damage plus 20% increase. Outgoing healing increase as well. We're not going to be healing much, so no big deal there. But So just like most builds in New World right now, we're going to definitely be taking the light equip load. This is going to be light head, light glove, light leg wear, light footwear, but we are going to be taking that medium chest for about 12. 12.7 equip load, which is going to keep us in that light category. You can also run up to 22.9 if you are looking for a medium build, but definitely do not take the bow spear ever to a heavy build. It just doesn't make sense. Keep it a light build most of the time, and then if you really want to go crazy, go for that medium build. So if we take a look at some of the different jewelry perks as well, nothing really too crazy here as this is a PTR uh, character. We're not going to have all of the best in slot perks. However, there are some perks that you definitely need to watch out for, and I'm going to talk about those here in just a minute. As we get over to the bow, you're going to be able to see Empowering Explosive Arrow. Explosive Arrow hits Grant and Power, increasing damage by 34% for the next 10 seconds, or until the next attack. So your next attack is going to do a lot of extra damage, and you have Vorpal as well, increasing that plus 15% headshot damage as well. So a very, very strong build, actually, when it comes to the bow. If we take a look at the spear, the spear is just going to have Keen and Vicious, so nothing too crazy on this spear. We'll talk, like I said, about those perks here in just a minute. But I want to take a look at the attributes. What attributes should you guys be going for with this bow spear build? Well, first off, you're going to want 300 dexterity. That's going to be the minimum. Then, when it comes to constitution, you're going to want to get to 160 at the very least, and then stack the rest in decks again. It's because when you pop your food, so let's pop our constitution food, it's going to give us 6, or sorry, not 6, but 40 constitution. So you can see here, if we go to the attributes now, we're at 304 decks and 200 con. That's going to give us that pip on 10% increase to physical and elemental armor, which is huge as well. It's also going to give us that 300 dex, so guaranteeing that critical hit after a dodge, which is just absolutely massive, and that's mainly the reason people are taking a ton of Vicious, because Vicious is going to give you that 10% increased damage, or critical damage, I should say. If you take a look here, Vicious, 11% critical damage on the spear. So a very huge bonus there. I also want to take a look at the abilities because abilities are a big part of any build, of course. If we take a look at the spear, this is going to be one of the abilities that I love to run the most. It's the javelin. The javelin is huge and there's a perk for this javelin that we'll talk about here in a minute, like I said, but throw the spear dealing 125% weapon damage and staggering on hit. The biggest thing about this javelin throw is the targets are knocked down on hit, allowing you to basically do extra damage. So I love to throw the javelin, jump back in with the skewer, and then finish them off with a perforate while I apply rend and reduce the target's damage absorption by 5% for 10 seconds. So if you want to start with the perforate, you definitely can. It's going to reduce, like I said, their damage absorption. So you can find out what really works for you with this build when it comes down to weapon combos. So if you take a look at skewer, you take a look at perforate, read the abilities, understand what they do, as these are the passives and everything that we will be taking. I do see a lot of builds going sweep, and I see a lot of builds going vault kick. They usually go the javelin, sweep, and vault kick if they're running a different build, and it's not a bad build at all. I just like more of the team kind of oriented javelin 
perf rate and skewer that this kind of applies a lot of buffs and debuffs on the opponent. So very, very strong build here with the spear. Let's jump over to the bow. So I've seen a lot of different builds with the bow as well. I've actually seen people take rapid shot, not a big fan. I've seen people take poison shot, not a big fan. This is going to be my favorite right now. Evade shot, giving you that mobility to stay alive. Definitely going to be needed with the new patch being, you know, light armor basically being kind of in my opinion, nerfed a little bit, which is probably a good thing. We have perforate, or not perforate, sorry, penetrating shot, which is a huge, huge ability because it penetrates through many different targets. So you saw in one of the clips, I believe, a two for one. You can get up to a three for one in PvP Arena, and if you're playing Outpost Rush, you could obviously get all 20 of them if you wanted to. So crazy weapon damage, and it also passes through targets. So we also take a look at the explosive arrow, one of the strongest abilities that has just come to the bow. I love this ability so much because it basically is like a fireball when you are playing the fire staff. Fire an arrow that deals 50% weapon damage on hit, then explodes on impact, dealing an additional 135% damage to all targets within a 2.5 meteor radius. So that's huge damage as well. You can also take out the arrow range, which increases the distance that arrows travel before being affected by gravity by 100%, and put in concussion instead this is going to make your headshots deal 20 percent more damage which is huge when you are landing those headshots so you can definitely add concussion instead of arrow range arrow range is typically something you'll take in opr and if you're not in opr and you're in arenas where it's a smaller kind of area it's not bad to take that arrow range out and put concussion in. So that's the abilities that we're going to be talking about when it comes to the bow and spear today. I want to take a look though at those perks now. So the first one we have to look at is the Fortifying Perforate. It's going to gain a stack of Fortify, increasing damage absorption by 17% for 6 seconds. That's huge. For each stab that is successfully hit, that's going to grant you a ton of different Fortifies and make sure that you are staying alive. We also have the Javelin, which inflicts Rend, reducing target's damage absorption by 25% for 6 seconds. That's a very, very large amount of damage absorption that is just gone. Explosive arrow, we talked a little bit about this. A 34% damage increase for 10 seconds, or really your next arrow shot, which is going to increase a very, very large amount of your next arrow, making you be able to do a lot of burst damage. Shirking energy is going to be needed on every light build. Just like the resilient, you're going to want resilient freedom. Those are always great perks to take on your gear. The best perks for some of these recommended bow builds are Enfeebling Poison Shot if you're going Poison Shot, Refreshing Penetrating Shot if you're going Penetrating Shot, and then Fortifying Rain of Arrows if you're going Rain of Arrows. The best perks for the recommended Spear build that we found are the Bleeding Sweep, so if you're going to go Sweep, this is a good one to go. Fortifying Perforate we talked about, and we also have Enfeebling Skewer. Skewer basically applies Weaken, reducing target's damage by 3% for 8 seconds. Now we also have to look at the Hardy. Hardy is going to be one of those you're going to definitely want in your ring, giving you more stamina, which is huge on light builds that need kiting. We also have the Keen Awareness, which is going to be that plus 12 critical chance. It's going to be huge on a ring, as you're always going to want to do as many critical hits as possible. If you guys like today's bow spear build, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on, as we're going to be doing a lot more builds in the near future, whether it's PvP or PvE.